Getting medically discharged, you lose a family. Um, you lose your identity to a degree. Becoming part of another team with the Invictus Games and to train with people who have dealt with the exact same things, it's just an overall fantastic thing in general just to make you better. Invictus Games has helped me with my rehabilitation. Um, you know, I've used adaptive sports uh, to help me come along through my rehab. Getting back with uh, my comrades, you know, my brothers and sisters in arms, uh, really puts me in a good spot. Um, you know, that's part of what we lose when we leave the military. These guys understand the, the feelings and the anguish that all we go through. Before this year, I didn't think that I could actually ride a bike again and uh, since being picked in the team I was able to try out for cycling and uh, to my surprise uh, my, my body was, had, had been rehabilitated enough to, uh, to handle the stress and pressure of it. Today we've got an incredible opportunity that Jake Land Rover have put on for both the team and also the team that's going to be delivering the games. What they're doing is they're now experiencing a little bit like what it's going to be like come games time. They're driving some vehicles, they're meeting the staff and they really are sort of getting a really good look at what Jaguar Land Rover stands for. There are some adaptive vehicles here as well so uh, even people with disability are able to drive these vehicles. For Jaguar Land Rover to focus on mobility for all people in their vehicles is, is an excellent attribute of the company. The fact that Jaguar and Land Rover have put in the thought, I suppose, to help accommodate that is just, it means more than anything really, because they're not just left to the side. There's all walks of life that, uh, that need to, to, to get around and uh, it's fantastic that a company like this is uh, able to support uh, the wider community and of course um, ex-military people. It's a bit of a group bonding session where once again we're uh, some of the obstacles we need to rely on our teammates to uh, guide us through them and uh, make sure we get through safety. To see people go from not being able to leave the house to be able to do this stuff. Even just a training camp, you can just see people's growth and it's the best thing you can ever ask for. I wouldn't say no if they decided to give me a vehicle, let me just tell you that. Um, they're beautiful, aren't they? <laughs>